let's come back and start with the next concept that is Faraday's laws of electrolysis. So Faraday's laws of electrolysis is studied under two laws. Faraday's first law and Faraday's second law. Let's see the first law and second law. First important thing, <coughs> first let us define, let us put it in inverted commas. So both the sides almost the uh, definition is sim similar but side difference. Let's see what should I write for first law. Faraday's first law states that <coughs> the mass of the substance okay deposited or liberated okay till here both are same i am writing the same the mass of the substance deposited or liberated both are same now from here a slight difference so amount of the substance or mass of the substance right <laughs> which is deposited liberated at what what is it uh, that uh, which is liberated at the electrodes is directly liberated at the electrodes we will write liberated at the electrodes liberated at the electrodes okay now this is important <coughs> This uh, deposit electrode is directly proportional to directly proportional to to the charge, right? Done. <coughs> what do I mean? The mass or the weight of the substance? Okay, W. Okay, we will write weight. Okay, weight clear because you will not forget. <coughs> W is equal to, right, is directly proportional as it is directly proportional to the quantity is proportional to the charge which we are passing or the current which we are passing, directly proportional to Q, then, so when I take out this proportionality constant, this becomes Z Q, this is the first law, weight of the substance is directly deposited or liberated the electrodes is directly proportional to the current or the charge uh, which is passed into it, directly proportional to the how much of a current you pass to that so much amount of uh, so much weight of the uh, substance is deposited on either of the electrodes so proportional to the charge passed through it through it done so let us write w is equal to weight of the substance z is called electrochemical equivalent electrochemical equivalent q is called charge or the current how much current we have passed done now if i have to write this the mass of the substance deposited liberated at the electrodes at any of the electrodes yes how what by passing electricity or by, by passing current right this is important is directly proportional here we have written we have related weight and current here we are going to relate weight of the substance directly to the electrochemical equivalent that is important right by passing current is directly proportional to electro chemical equivalent that is represented by E. Now, suppose if I take weight of three cells which are connected or have three electrolytes in this. Now, now we said whenever you are passing certain amount of current towards the cell to into the circuit the weight of the substance deposited on these electrodes suppose, suppose if i take two w1 by w2 is directly proportional to the electrochemical equivalents of that e1 by e2 this is your second law electrochemical equivalent e1 by e2 is your second law done so now let us come back and define this suppose if they, uh, if they ask you now this is electrochemical equivalent this is uh, like uh, if I have to write specifically chemical equivalent let us not write electrochemical equivalent we write chemical equivalent because it will confuse you this so it is directly proportional to the equivalent weight chemical equivalent weight okay chemical equivalent weight now, this is perfect right now let us come back and define z right they may ask you what is z so what is z basically we have defined it as electrochemical equivalent how to define that just see Z, we already know it is electrochemical equivalent, start like that. The mass of the substance deposited in grams when a current of 1 coulomb is passed through it. Let us write that. It is mass of the 
substance deposited or liberated in grams when when how much when a current of 1 coulomb when current of 1 coulomb is passed through it that's it through it so this is your first law this is your second law when i'll be doing numericals you will clearly understood and you will clearly understand what actually is the concept as of now we will just learn the form formulas and laws in this way so remember whenever you are supplying one faraday of electricity to this that is 96600 <coughs> uh, six, coulombs 96500 coulombs of current that means you are speaking in terms of one mole of electrons remember that concept it's easy for me to solve the numericals done so this is your first law w is equal to zq where we are relating w and quantity of current here we are going to relate w as well as e chemical equivalents 